Hello, good people. So I'm back and you see I put my hair up for a reason. Um, spent all day twisting it up yesterday and uh, putting it up because um, I am a day and a half away from my breast implant surgery. And I just wanted to make sure I didn't have to worry about my hair. Um, and I'm so scared. I am so scared. Uh, so I just wanted to check in. I don't know if I'll be able to check in again um, until after the surgery. My uh, partner is coming down to um, take care of me. He, um, he lives about two and a half hours away. So he's coming tomorrow, which is Thursday. And my surgery is on Friday. And I'm so nervous. Um, I'm nervous because I used to say I would never have a breast boob job. Because I didn't want any foreign substances in my body. But uh, as I have aged, I have realized that my, my breasts have changed so much after breastfeeding and um, I said in previous videos, I really don't attribute the changes in my breast to breastfeeding as much as aging because I am 54 years old. So I just think gravity has just taken over. And um, like right now I'm wearing a padded bra. I used to be a 34C in my 20s and 30s and um, but, uh, now I'm a 32A, but I want to just be a 34C, uh, not C, I want to be a 34B because, uh, I am, I'm a little slimmer than I was back then, although I've always been small. Um, it's just that now that my kids are all grown, I have been able to, uh, pay more attention to my fitness. So, uh, I'm a little bit more trim, although, like I said, I was always, um, small. Um, I am at least my high school weight right now, if not a little less. I was 116 pounds in high school and, uh, with my children, I always, I was about 114, 16 pounds with uh when i got pregnant with each child but then i would always gain 50 pounds during the pregnancy um i think the last child i was able to get back down to 120 and it was really hard to shed the last few pounds so i just stayed around 120 and now i'm about 110 to 113 um, it's a little easier when you don't have young kids that want to eat all the bad stuff. <laughs> so, uh, I, I don't have those temptations around the house. So, uh, I said that to say that I don't necessarily want to be as big as I was back then because I'm a smaller person. And I don't want the first thing that you see coming to be breast. Um, I actually like having small breasts. Because um, I think small breasts are cute. I don't want to be like boobalicious. Like this is actually the size that I want to be. Um, let's see if I can show. You can see. I don't know if this black is a good thing to show it. But this is the size that I want to be. Although this bra is a 32A. But it's padded. And this is about the size I want to be. I don't want to be large, and I have said in my other, other videos that I don't really consider this a breast augmentation as much as a breast breast implants. I am just going for um, repairing the volume that I have lost with age and breast breastfeeding. So I just want to re restore that volume. Um, I would be horrified if I wake up from surgery and I'm like a D or even a full C, you know, I don't want a lot of boobs. I'm very athletic. I run, 
about five miles a day. Uh, about, but well, my goal is always five days out, five, three to five days out the week. Five days out the week is preferably that I run five miles those days. And I just don't want the boobs to be an issue. You know, I'm very quick and light on my feet and I want to stay that way. But, um, as I, um, become, I'm more into my sexuality and I wear a lingerie and, and even when I wear bikinis, I realize that I just have nothing to fill out my tops and I don't enjoy that. Um, let's see, is this on button? Oh, it does. Hmm. I can kind of show, uh, let's just see. And this is about the size that I want to be. Yeah, I think this would be perfect. And like I said, this is padded. So, um, I'm very nervous. So nervous. <coughs> By the way, I had COVID um, about three weeks ago. And I was really worried about that. I've been vaccinated and boosted and I still got COVID. And I was actually, I felt pretty damn sick. And even after my tests were negative, I still felt, oh, I didn't know this could unbutton. So now I'm like, let me, let me let, let me unbutton, be a little sexy. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, after I started testing negative for COVID, I was still sick. And fatigue. Oh, the fatigue. The fatigue. Oh. Um, today is probably the first day I have felt at least 95%, which is great because my surgery is in two days, uh, a day and a half. Um, I'm still just a little achy in my shoulder area, which is strange. I never had this before, so I, I just feel like I still have some COVID-like symptoms. But I'm negative, so... The surgery will commence, and I'm so nervous. I just don't want it to look too boobalicious. <laughs> so, yeah, um, uh, I, I am going to, I was going to buy like a button down or zip up top, but I decided, I'm sure I have some stuff. I have some button top. Um, pajam PJs and shorts like why am I buying that stuff the only thing that I bought for my surgery I bought a V pillow from Amazon and then I bought a one of those um, back pillows I'm gonna pause and bring those items okay back now I bought this V pillow from Amazon and this is a silk or satin pillowcase that I got from Amazon as well. And it, it, it's actually very comfy. And then I got this from Walmart. Um, one of them I plan to put downstairs on the couch and one I plan to put in my bed. Or I have a chase in my bedroom too, a long lounge chase. So, um, I'll probably use one of these for the chase and the bed and one downstairs so I don't have to carry them up and down. And then I also bought, <coughs> still have a little bit of a cough from COVID <coughs> that won't go away. It's much better though. It was worse than, than, than this. I also purchased um, from Amazon some zip or button up bras, sports bras. Um, it was like a three pack for eighteen dollars. Uh, I saw another girl that recommended them, um, so I bought a three pack. There's three colors, and I bought that. Um, you know, that's it. <laughs> oh, and some extra strength Tylenol. I'm gonna try my best not to take much of the Percocets because I do not want to be constipated. Constipation, no bueno. Um, yeah, I, I'm not buying a bunch of stuff. Uh, yeah, so 
that's my update and i'm so nervous I'm so nervous so um i got this cute little outfit from walmart and let me show it i think it's so cute i don't like how the back comes up so high wish it came down a little lower but I actually purchased this in a size small and uh, I felt like it was too big so I took it back and I got an extra small. The extra small fits me better. The shorts just, I don't feel like they're really giving me much credit back here. <laughs> I don't have much credit to have but uh it's still cute. Um, yeah, I don't want to. I want to be able to wear things like this and still have small breasts. But I, I want to have breasts. So if I look like this, I'll be happy. Okay, so this is a quick update. Um, I'm so behind on the videos. I'm not a YouTuber um, at all. <laughs> But I have made probably two or three videos that I have not uploaded yet. I made a video where I actually um, got very courageous and got on here with no bra and no shirt. But I put like little coverage on my nips just to show um, the flatness that I have up here. So, so you can really see that. Um, my bra, I only have some volume at the bottom. I'm just flat on top. So I, I made a video like that. I'm going to try to upload it tonight. I mean, like, damn, I'm having my surgery in, in a day and a half. And that video was made probably four, four weeks ago, a month. And then I made another video, which I may or may not update because I'm probably talking about the same things. I don't re even remember. Uh, so, um... I'm going to sign off. Wish me luck. I can't believe I'm doing this. Yeah, that's what one of the videos was about. Just me talking about how I always thought I would never have any type of plastic surgery as a young person. And just lessons learned as I aged what happens to your body and how you have to do things. Or you don't have to, but if you want to maintain your... The way you look you want to look good there's things you just do and sometimes that means a little nip and tuck here i just didn't anticipate that i would be wanting to do those things i thought i was always going to look a certain way because i was always going to take care of myself and i was always going to work out and things were going to stay in place but gravity says something else so yeah that's it for this video and i uh, just want to thank you guys for listening and wish me luck next time you see me will be after surgery i will probably be drugged up and hopefully i'll be feeling good and not in a lot of pain and hopefully my boobs won't be up to here <laughs> but i know they will be everybody else's are <laughs> uh, wish me luck guys all right bye <laughs> Hi guys, I'm on here, no makeup. Ah, I just woke up and I was trying to find something to wear to surgery. So I think I found something. I wanted something that zipped because I was going to buy an outfit or some pajamas. And I was like, why waste that kind of money? Because I'm pretty sure I have so many um, button up pajamas and stuff. Um, in fact, I'll show you another outfit real quick. Okay, so, yeah, I was going to, I was thinking of wearing this, buttons up, top, pajamas, and the cute pants, but I don't want to be walking in there wearing pajamas. <laughs> I wish I had something just plain that wasn't silky, that looked like pajamas, but I'm going to keep this handy because I might be wearing this around the house, except for it's long sleeves in the summertime. Um... But then I was looking in my closet and I found this top. It actually has a tank that goes underneath it.
And I was like, okay, I think I found my top. Zip up, zip down. I have a no bra right now, by the way. So you can see how saggy my boobs are. I mean, they could be worse for a 50-year-old lady. Um, and I think I'm going to just wear these leggings. I think, that's, I think this is good to wear the surgery. Zips up, zips down. Yeah. And I've been looking at my boobs and I'm like, I'm so close to changing my mind and not doing this. Because my boobs aren't terrible. They aren't terrible. You know, I'm in my 50s and they, I, my nipples still go out. You know, they don't go down. And I, I don't look so bad for my 50s. And, you know, I just, I just know I do not want to be big. I, I just want some fullness on top. You know, I want to be small boobs. I still want to be in a little bitty titty committee. So, so, I'm just so worried. It doesn't help that I just watched the horror story of this one girl and her surgery. Um, but she was like 450 cc's. I want 200. I'm so worried. I'm so scared. So, yeah, I'm gonna, <sighs> like, I have changed my mind so many times about this surgery, but then I, when I raise my arms and I look at how they, I have nothing up here, and I mean, I, I could get away with not doing it. Uh, it's so hard. So I just hope I don't regret it. Uh, I paid my money, so I'm kind of... I could lose my money, just say, damn with it. Um, so I'm, my mind is all over the place. By the time you see this video, either I would have changed my mind or I have done it because my surgery is tomorrow morning. And this time tomorrow, I'll have them done. <sighs> So I think I'm going to go through with it and pray and go small. I think more complications can happen the bigger you get. I just want to be small. Yeah. So uh, anyway, I found this top. And I was like, yes, you got a zip up top. And um, I'll just have these pajamas on standby. I do have some shorts, some red, red um, pajama shorts that can go under this top. Um, yeah, I kind of wish I had something short sleeves. Maybe I should cut the sleeves off. <laughs> I haven't worn this in years. What size is this? Size small. I may have worn this one time ever. I wonder if I cut the sleeves off. Huh. Cut the sleeves. I mean, I've never worn it. Hmm. Maybe. If I do, maybe I'll get on here and show. Well, what the hell? Just roll the sleeves up, Danielle. Just roll them up. Hello. I'm talking about cutting sleeves. Just roll up the daggone sleeves. Yeah. All right, so... Signing off and pray for me. Because by the time you see this, it'll be too late. But thank you for watching. Bye. So I am in my surgery gown. It's the day of surgery. The girl's nervous. And just want to just check in. Wish me luck. So I'm here in the bed. Got my IV. I really like my nurse. She is super petite and has a boob job and you can't even tell. And I was telling her that I have been wanting to cancel this so many times because I'm so afraid of having big boobs. And she was like, oh no, I, I went through it twice. She said she had saline and took them out and got silicone. But she's like tinier than me. And doesn't look like she has big boobs. So that was encouraging. I'm still scared though. We're waiting on the doctor to get here. And um, today was kind of a 
shit show of a day with uh, other personal things going on in my life. I'm not going to be sad. Right. See you guys on the other end. Bye. So the doctor just came in. Oh my gosh. We were going to go with high profile, but after I showed him what I don't want to look like, he decided to do moderate profile. I don't want them to stick out too much. Hope I'm making the right decision. And, uh, yeah. And that extra love handle I have, removed it, which should have been taken care of with my tummy tuck. Um, he said he didn't remember. He said he would take care of it, so I'm glad I reminded him. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I'm going to do this. Oh my gosh. I'm like... So, I'm home from surgery. Very droopy. First thing I did was take some Tylenol extra, extra strength. I'm hoping I can steer away from the Percocet. Um, they did 275 cc. I had a talk with the doctor and let him know I do not want to be big. I was afraid of being too big. <clears throat> he was gonna go with the high profile, but he ended up going with the moderate plus, I think. I hope it gives me enough of what I'm looking for. And I'm just wanting to sleep right now. I don't even know if I wanna look at them because I know they're probably going to look weird. So I'm going to sleep and then I will check back in. Bye. Quick update. I've been sleeping, but um, surgery went okay. Um, I was trying not to take the narcotic, the Percocet, but I kind of had to. So that I could sleep. I just took some Tylenol and thought it was going to be okay, but it wasn't. Um, yeah, I'm afraid to take this off because I don't know if I can put it back on. It's actually not that bad. Pain level, an eight. I don't tolerate pain well. But, look... I told the doctor, like, I had a talk with him. I was like, look, I'm so nervous because I do not want to be big. Whew. And it feels, I heard somebody say it feels like you're engorged when you breastfeed. And it does feel like that. Except for, it's probably a little worse. But it's the first thought thing I thought of when I felt it. And I feel like I might feel my nipples being sore. I don't know what I feel. It's just a whole bunch of stuff going on in, in there. He did um, lipo that one section, that love handle, which I'm so happy about. I only had it in one spot. Um, I didn't have a love handle on the other side. Um, but damn, he said, said I didn't need to wear compression and I'm not going to, but it's swollen. I'm not worried about it. It'll go down when it goes down. I'm not worried about it. I want to look, but I'm scared. Uh, that ain't going to work. I'm trying to find a place. Who put this phone? I'm scared to look. I don't know what the hell this is going to look like. Okay. I got 275 and that's, I mean, I didn't want 300. Okay. Okay, so far, I like that. It's not way up here, my collarbone, like I feared it would be. This bra is on me all kinds of crooked. Yeah.
Hmm. I could have did a better job of putting this on. Uh, hell no, I ain't moving that. Uh, it's crooked, but I can see a little bit of here. Can't see because this is not on. Like, anyway. Anywho. Yeah. So, uh, the nurse, my nurse, I really have to thank her because she really calmed me by telling me that she's had it done twice. And she's this little petite thing. And I had no idea. And so that made me feel pretty good that I can, I can still, um, have, I can be undetectable, basically. So, um, yeah. I'm up walking around because I'm supposed to walk every couple of hours or so. I mean, this feels better than I did with my last surgery. It's still painful, but, you know, my last surgery, I could barely get up. All right, so I'm going to go rest. But my side profile, I have, I have a little bit of a, a little bit of a, I'll check back in later. Thought I would show my setup. I'm in my bedroom. I have this chase in my bedroom by this window that I love. And I just put my V pillow there. And I have a child's can in case I need to puke. And a little TV dinner tray with some items. And I use the window seal for my medicine and my water. And that little area is calling my name, so I'm going back to rest. Hey guys, so it's still the day of surgery, and um, I've been asleep. I was trying not to take Percocet, but I kind of had to. Um, I think it's one off, and I took Tylenol, extra strength, hoping that that's enough for now. I'll probably take another Percocet before I go to bed. It's 5.30 p.m. My surgery was at 8 a.m. I was home by 10 a.m. And I slept when I got home till about 1.30. Um, woke up, walked around, and was back asleep by maybe 2.30 and awake again at 5.30. I'm doing pretty good. I feel way better than what I thought I would feel. And so far, I think they're perfect for my body. Okay, I'm gonna, I was, like I said before, I was afraid to look because most people, when they get it, their boobs are up here. Mine are not. Thank the Lord. I mean, I'm sure they would have dropped, but my only concern is since they're not, how much are they going to drop? <laughs> look droopy. But I really pressed with him to not make them um, too big and too much sticking out. We did a little bit of lipo on my left side where I had a love handle. So far, I think they have the potential. Told me I didn't need to wear any compression for that lipo. Just done right there, it's swollen. And honestly, it's swollen right now. I don't plan on massage, nothing, because when I had it done, done with my tummy tuck, um, I never had any massages, so I'm not going to do anything. I'm just going to let it feel naturally. This is what I wore to surgery. Um, I thought... I would be able to do less with my arms. It does, it is uncomfortable, but I can pick up things. I, was, I thought I was gonna even have trouble flushing the toilet because I had one of those push button ones. 
but I can do it. It's a little hard, but I can do it. They have my bra on crooked. Uh, I have pain up here. All the way up here. I wonder if it's these, these straps. It's interesting though because most people I see are drawn on up here, and I'm not drawn on. He drew under the memory fold. Yeah. Um, the soreness does feel like I did a bunch of push-ups. But it's tolerable. <laughs> I think he went with the perfect size because... I was leaning towards 250. I didn't want 300, but I did want my my skin, my loose skin, because I had the breast tissue from being a 34C when I was younger. So I did want that tissue to be filled in. I just didn't want it to be augmented more than what my tissue had. So, so far, it appears as if he filled in that that um, tissue, and I wish this wasn't crooked because you can really see here, but you can't see over here because it's like off center and I can't move it. So I'm going to um, have some yogurt, I think. I haven't really eaten anything. Been trying to drink a lot of water. I've uh, been worried about nausea, but so far, none. So, yeah. I'm so glad it's over. Oh, my gosh. Um, my anesthesiologist was pretty funny. Uh, right before he put me under, I was like, wait a minute. Once you do this, I'm going to be gone, right? He was like, yes. Yeah. So, is there anything else you want to say? And I was like, I don't know. Wait, wait. Because I knew once he put that in me, it was over. And I think I remember being wheeled. Yeah. I remember being wheeled in the room. And, and when I got in the room, I was like, this is the room? It looked kind of... Yeah. Looking up at the lights in the ceiling. It looked old-fashioned. And I was laying there thinking... Why am I still awake? <laughs> and uh, then they took my arms. They put both my arms out. And I was like, I really don't want to be awake right now. Um, they put my head in something. Um, I stayed awake much longer than what I thought I would. I thought I was just going to be out. Like with my tummy tuck, I was out fast. But this one, I felt like I was awake a little longer. I'm so thankful it's over because, like, last night, I kept looking at myself saying, do you really want to do this? Like, your boobs aren't terrible. And then, like, when I raised my arms, I was like, yeah, they are. Mm -hmm. There's nothing. You have no fullness. Okay, so I'm going to go try to find something to eat. And uh, this might be it for the night. Day one, I did it. Can't believe it. All right, bye. Thanks for watching my journey. So I lied. I said that was gonna be my last video for tonight, but um, just woke up again. I took off the bra, the bra, and my goodness, I really really liked them. I thought that I was. A little worried about going with the moderate plus profile but they're pretty full and um i thought they would be shaped funny and they're not really shaped that funny but they are i i can tell they need to drop some um i think that my experience is a little different than most people's experience um maybe because i went smaller um like i don't have the strap up here um, I'm actually not in that much pain. I took 
one narcotic earlier this morning and I haven't taken any more. I took Tylenol after that. I haven't taken any more narcotic. I might take a muscle relaxer today, tonight before I go to sleep. Um, our doctor didn't prescribe them to me, but I had some from having muscle spasms in my past. Um, so I might do that, but I'm trying to stay away from that narcotic. I have not done number two yet. Um, I'm going to take a stool softener tonight. I took some a stool softener last night, and I also took some Miralax. Um, when I had my tummy tuck, I went to the bathroom on day three. So, you know, I'll be a little patient. But yeah, um, also, I'm so excited because I can feel my nipples. I went in and touched them. I can feel my nipples. I fully expected to lose that because a lot of people do. And um, when it came to my tummy tuck, I'm still sore. Almost a year later, I'm still sore. I mean, not sore, but I, I'm still numb, which I don't think I'll ever gain muscle sensation or sensation in my stomach down here. Uh, so, yeah, just wanted to give one last update. Um, I think this is going to be it for the night. I feel like I am a little bloated, but nothing too bad. So, yeah, let me see. I think they look pretty good for one day or the first day. Um... I'll wait a few days before I take it off and cover the nips, but they are freaking perky, <laughs> perky. I did not have a breast lift. So yeah, I, like I said, I'm not taking any um, narcotics. I had one early, like 10 or 11 o'clock this morning. And now it's 10 p.m. tonight, so if I can continue not taking the, the narcotic, I'll be happy. Um, I expect it to be in more pain. At first it was because it was shocking, but I've kind of gotten used to it. Um, they say day three is the worst, so we'll see. I might be running back to the narcotics by day three. But your girl, I can't believe I went through with it. <coughs> it does hurt to cough a little bit um the ride home was uh a little painful which wasn't with my tummy tuck so that was interesting um and i'm i i, I feel much better than i did with my tummy tuck honestly um yeah and i'm happy i have nipple sensation sensation and i actually have a handful here so far, I'm loving the size, and I know they're going to go down some because they're swollen. Um, I thought about putting some ice packs on, but he didn't tell me to do that, so uh, I'm not going to do that. Okay, I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye. Hey, guys. It's the next morning day. What would you call this? Yesterday was day one of the surgery. This is day two. Day two after my surgery, is that how you do it? Or is today day one? I don't know. Yesterday I had the surgery, so that means this is day two. Anyway, um, I'm very proud of myself. I took narcotics one time yesterday morning, and I didn't need it the rest, the rest of the day. It, it was a little tough, I'm not going to lie, but I took Tylenol. I did sleep a lot, and I still, I, I guess I felt like the... Uh, the anesthesia was still in my system, so I was droopy a lot yesterday. And even this morning, I had a hard time waking up. Um, I got up this morning. I took some Tylenol. I don't feel like I need narcotics. I feel like this this uh, surgery recovery is a lot different than what I hear from a lot of people. I thought mine would be harder because I'm older. But, yeah, you know, I'm in pain. I would rate it about a 5 it's just discomfort and people say that they feel pressure and heaviness like they can't breathe i don't feel that i don't feel a heavy pressure on my chest and that could be because i didn't go very big but yeah i don't feel heaviness and i don't feel like they're foreign they don't feel like a foreign object i don't feel like there's anything in there 
Um, I still feel my nipples. My nipples are pretty sensitive. Thank the Lord. I still feel my nipples. And they don't feel hard either. To me, they feel they feel soft. People say that they feel like a like a rock. It doesn't feel like a rock a rock to me. It has some softness to it. It's totally not what I expected at all. I took a peek at them and I I like them. Let me see. How can we do this? They're a little high. You can see up here that like they're a little high. But you know what? I wouldn't be too mad at them if they stayed like that. I know they're gonna drop. Yeah. Uh, I took a peek at them and I'm like, wow, <laughs> perky. So day two, um, I haven't eaten anything yet. I didn't eat much yesterday. So I'm going to go have something to eat and I'll check back in a few times today. I guess I'll make this like a, a day one through five video or something like that, or one through three. Okay, checking back in later. Oh, before I go, I'm just stand up and see how the girl is looking. I ordered some uh, bras from Amazon. I'm waiting for them to come. This bra is okay, but you know, I guess I'll, I'll wear it until I have my post-op visit and then hopefully I can move into a different bra. All right, I'll check back in later. Okay, I've had something to eat and been up and around and honestly, I feel fine. <laughs> Day two, I feel fine. I do feel a little sore. Almost like I've been hit by a truck, I guess. <laughs> but I feel fine. Like, is something bad gonna happen? <laughs> Cause I feel like this was supposed to be way worse. Um, I took off the bra, I wanted to see what size it was. And this bra is a 34A, no. I would be pissed if it was a 34A. This bra is a 34B that they have me in. And that's what I want it to be. Now, uh, hopefully that's what I'll remain when the swelling goes down. So I'm just relaxing. I have a pool here in my backyard. And I've just been sitting out by the pool and just soaking up some sun because I've been tired of been in the house all day. So, um, it's been pretty uneventful. I was expecting this to be way harder than it is. But day two, and your girl is <clears throat> girl's doing pretty good. <clears throat> um, I can raise my arms a bit. It's not so bad. Actually, I can raise them all the way. Some things are hard to open. Um, Oh, I wanted to say there was something else that I thought I would experience that most people say they experience. What was it? Um, I had the nipple sensitivity, thank God. Um, I don't feel the pressure that people say they had. I don't feel out of breath. Um... There's something else I was thinking, man. Everybody said they had that, but I don't have it. Well, it'll come to me later. Brain fog. Um, yeah, I took off my shirt. I might put a picture in here. Of I took a picture of the boots. And I might put a picture in here. If I do, I'll do it right here. Day two after surgery. So, um, if I did it, I, I'll cover the nips. My boobs stick out. I cannot imagine if I had gotten a high profile. I cannot imagine how much they would have stuck, stuck out. Ooh, they would stick out a lot. They stick out a lot now. Kind of looking forward to them going down, just hanging naturally. Uh, when I took off my shirt, I could see where the, the odd shape of the breast being a, under the muscle I could tell that, but still, it actually doesn't look bad. 
for day two. Oh, and I remembered what it was. Um, I didn't experience. People say that their throat hurt when they came out of surgery. Mine didn't hurt. It was a little dry, but I was expecting it to, to hurt. Like, I'm freaking 54, and I thought this was going to be hard because I'm older. But so far, it's been a breeze. Which is kind of good because uh, my personal life has fallen apart in the midst of this surgery. And maybe I'll do another video on that later, but it's been a shit show. <sighs> so, I'm just relaxing. Um, I almost feel like I can drive. But I'm not going to chance it. But, you know, I feel like I can drive. Um, I try, there's a few things I tried to do that's kind of hard, like... Some things with my pool, some adjustments I tried to make, and I couldn't do it. And I actually got on my knees to do it and then realized I couldn't get up because I couldn't use my arms to push myself up. I was like, you idiot. Uh, I can't use my arms to push up. Um, sleeping. Sleeping last night was interesting. I used my V pillow and my neck brace. It wasn't the best. <laughs> it hurts when I cough. I mean, it's uncomfortable. I'm not going to say it hurts. But it wasn't the best, most restful sleep. So I don't hope I don't have to sleep like that for too long. Um, and there's some things, like I was saying, oh, when I'm sleeping in the bed, it's hard to get up. So I have to use my legs to push myself up. So um, that's how it is because I can't use my arms. But overall, this recovery is pretty easy. I only have taken two Tylenols all, to, all day today. And right now it's what, about 2.30 in the afternoon. So yeah, it's been kind of easy. So um, this is day two. And maybe I'll check in later. If not, I'll check in on day three. Bye. Hello everyone, it's day three of my boob implant and um, I actually changed the bra to one that I got from Amazon that came in the mail and I like it better because it's more snug. I feel like the one they gave me, which is a 34B, it's a little loose. So um, put this one on, but I do notice I feel a little more sore. I don't know if maybe it's too tight. Um, I figured that a snugger one would hold them together better. But um, today I'm feeling pretty good. Um, I was going to get back on here last night because I was so excited that I had a BM. Yeah. So on day two, I actually had a BM. I attribute that to the fact that I only took one narcotic throughout this entire thing, which was the morning of the surgery. And then after that, I just tried so hard not to take them and now um i had two tylenol yesterday but now i'm not taking anything i'm sore but it's tolerable pain level is probably level four so i'm just checking in um i've been taking it off and, and just admiring how they look and they look pretty good I feel like they're big. I only got 275 cc. But I don't know. I'm sure they're going to go down. So I'll probably put a photo in here of what they look like today and cover the nips. And uh, I'll do that here. All right, so um, it's still early in the day. I'm going to go about my day. Actually, I feel like I can drive. <laughs> I think I can drive day three. So this surgery has been much easier than what I expected. Um, so I'm going to try and drive because I'm tired of being in the house. And I'll check back in later. Bye. Another quick check-in. Still day two, day three. Um took off everything and just looked at them and this one my right one I'm noticing um, is a little higher I can see a line of demarcation which you might see on the picture that I post 
I can see a line of demarcation where the implant is in my regular breast is. There's like a little line there so you can see the implant is up here. I don't feel like there's anything in there. I heard some people say that they can feel the implant. I don't know what I feel. I just feel a fullness, I guess. Um, but I can see a line here. And on this one, I, I don't. I put back on the other bra. It's like a line here. But um, I've seen some pretty freakish looking breasts in the beginning. And I don't feel like mine look too freakish. They look a little normal, perky. <clears throat> you don't really notice that until you take everything off. So, so far, so good. All right, day three, checking in. Still day three here, and I decided to go for a drive. I feel like I can drive, even though I think it's kind of early, but I'm feeling okay. So I threw on some clothes, and damn, these look huge. And I'm hoping they go down, because I told my doctor I didn't want to be big. I only got 275 cc's so um i'm hoping that this is mostly swelling jeez oh, also i found something on my leg this was not there before and i hope it goes away because i take a lot of pride in working out and running so that's kind of a bummer anyway um so this is what i'm gonna wear i'm just gonna go for a drive because i'm tired of being in the house but day three feeling pretty good i'm still sore but i feel like you know i have enough arm mobility i actually can put my arms up over my head and stuff so um yeah i'm gonna go for a drive and i'll check back in later bye so i drove and it was no big deal i just feel like this is way easier than it's supposed to be uh yeah i drove for like an hour and it was fine uh so yeah i think this is gonna end my day three it's technically well it's the second day af after the surgery so i'm counting day one as the day of surgery so i don't know how you want to count it day three or day two um but the surgery was on friday and today is sunday and I was able to drive. It was fine. I still feel like they look huge. Hoping they go down. I'm sure they will. Um, but yeah, so this is uh, day three. And I'm going to sign off and end this vlog. And start up another one. Maybe day uh, four to day seven or something like that. And I've also been taking pictures um, of my boobs. So I can see the progression of them falling. Um, so, so far, I think things are going fine. And by the way, I've been on here with no makeup. I put on some lip stuff, but uh, I haven't done my eyebrows or anything. No found, I don't do foundation anyway. Um, but I do like a translucent powder. I haven't done anything. I'm looking a hot mess. And you know what? I don't care. <laughs> I don't really care right now. So I'm signing off and I'll come back on here uh, in another video for day four through seven or something like that. All right, bye.